pictured, Kate Middleton's brave face after split with William. Prince William and Kate Middleton have been married for almost nine years, however there was a time when the couple were on rocky ground and weren't sure they would make it down the aisle at all. Back in 2007, Kate and William briefly broke up when William reportedly told friends all the fun has gone from their relationship. Kate did everything she could to make him stay, playing a waiting game one minute and then hard to get the next. Just the other week, she said she intended to be photographed at as many places as she could without William to punish him for all those pictures that appeared of him clubbing with other girls, a source told Express.co.uk at the time. Kate, however, handled things like the queen she was destined to become. The future Duchess of Cambridge was photographed around London putting on a brave face, and very much showing Prince William what he was missing. She was seen out partying, but always kept her cool, and never made a fool of herself. Kate also turned up looking extremely glamorous to a launch party for a book entitled The Young Stalin by Simon C. Bagmata Fiori. She posed for photos with the author and her sister Pippa, and was spotted giggling with socialite Tara Palmer Tomkinson. Eventually, the royal couple managed to patch things up after a few months apart. Their break seemed to be just what the prince needed to see what he was missing, and he proposed to Kate in 2010, with the couple marrying in 2011. When the couple announced their engagement in 2010, they were asked about their 2007 split. Kate said, I think at the time I wasn't very happy about it, but actually it made me a stronger person. You find out things about yourself that maybe you hadn't realized. I think you can get quite consumed by a relationship when you're younger and, you know, I really valued that for me as well, although I didn't think it at the time. William said of their early relationship, we were both very young. It was at university, we were sort of both finding ourselves as such and being different characters and stuff, it was very much trying to find our own way and we were growing up. Prince William and Kate Middleton reveal their quarantined life at home. Prince William, Kate Middleton and their children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, are currently self-isolating at Anmer Hall in Norfolk, as the UK battles the coronavirus pandemic. While the family usually live at Kensington Palace, they have decamped to the country for lockdown, and given royal fans a glimpse inside their 10-bedroom Sandringham Estate home. The sneak peek came as they announced they were launching a pound $5 million, $10 million, scheme to support the UK people's mental health at a time of high anxiety during the lockdown. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge shared two photos of themselves with their 11.5 meters Instagram followers on Saturday. Kate was seen wearing a dusky pink suit at a desk, while talking on the telephone to one of her patronages. William was also on the phone in his snap, at another desk, to one of the organizations and patronages he supports. Self-isolation and social distancing can pose huge challenges to our mental health. In recent weeks the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have been in regular contact with organizations and patronages to understand the issues they are facing during this difficult time, they captioned the photos. Last week the Duke spoke to at Mind Charity CEO Paul Farmer, and the Duchess spoke to Catherine Roche, CEO of that underscore place to be. Today Public Health England has published new guidance to help support people during the COVID-19 outbreak and updated its world-leading Every Mind Matters platform, with specific advice on maintaining good mental well-being during the outbreak. Take a look at our story or visit the link in our bio to find out more. Speaking about the new guidance, the Duke and Duchess said, It is great to see the mental health sector working together with the NHS to help people keep on top of their mental well-being. By pulling together and taking simple steps each day, we can all be better prepared for the times ahead. Last week the Cambridge kids came together to join a UK nationwide initiative to thank health workers. Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis joined millions of people across the UK in clapping for NHS workers on the front line in the battle against the coronavirus pandemic. <laughs> <laughs>